Okay, today I'm going to show you how to take your iTunes music and upload it to the new Google's Music Cloud. Uh, the great thing about it is that you will be able to uh, show all your music to all your friends on the website. You can also uh, attach it to any Android tablet or Android device. So, unfortunately, I do not believe they have an app yet that works on Apple or iTouch but at least you can have a backup of your files to at least play them online and if you decide to get an uh, Android product at a later date you can actually sync it through their application so we're going to start off by opening up iTunes uh, so far this is an empty iTunes account I don't really use it too much but I'm just installing it for this video and I'm going to take some of these files and just drop it over into the to music uh, this is just a standard uh, Windows songs that come with it now that I have uh, these in there I'm actually gonna copy them, paste them onto my uh, my little Tech Steve SD uh, uh, playlist here. So there you go. Uh, the next part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize this. I'm gonna bring up the website, and this is music.google.com. I've logged into my uh, Tech Steve uh, uh, email account here and uh, with the Gmail account. So if you don't have a Google Gmail account, head over to google.com and sign up for one so the first thing I'm going to do is download the music manager just click on that and um, it's going to download the music manager you're going to have to run the music manager and let me minimize this while it's doing that and uh, what it's going to do is install a little piece of software where I can actually attach my music to it so uh, as it installs I'm going to uh, oh there it is complete and I'm just opening it up right now. Okay, once you uh, finish install the, installing the music manager, you'll get a screen like this after you put in your Gmail account. It's going to ask you if you want to install on iTunes, uh, Windows Media Center, My Folders, or other folders. I chose iTunes. And now I'm going to hit Next. And then it's going to say less than 10 songs were found in iTunes. Uh, it's going to confirm that yes because I only have three I put in there and then hit next. And then this means that it's going to automatically upload any songs you add in there. So anything you drag into iTunes, the next time it syncs, it will upload into the cloud automatically. And then just hit yes. Uh, this screen means that it's going to minimize your uh, background of your computer. So I'm using Windows 7 and that, that should be fine for that. And then it's hit next okay now you see it's actually uploading those three songs into the uh, Google's music so it take a uh, just a couple minutes but you can actually go with advance fast as possible you can change the speed so if you're doing other things on your computer you can have it upload at a slower speed so it doesn't use all the bandwidth on your network other than that you're good to go uh, downloads so anytime you buy any music on the on the music store you can download it right to your computer and it'll actually resync again so that's a pretty cool feature and right now it's up uploading uh, generally it can find new songs that you in input in there no big deal so let me go up to the web browser and uh, hit a refresh up here let's see where that is and let's see if we start seeing any music come up in here All right. so now you see my playlist appeared and uh, let me click on the playlist sleep away right there so if you click on it and there's a little play button down here let's see if it'll actually play the song now but it might have to wait a little bit longer until it uploads and get completed uh, but the cool thing is you have access to these little features like you can drop down you can make instant mixes you can add it to another playlist you can edit your song information right there online uh, remove it from the playlist and actually look for the artist so it gives you a lot more options that you can uh, that you can do right there and it's all online so um, I'm gonna also show you how to use this application on an Android device and I'm gonna download it on my Android and show you how the music synchronizes with your device so uh, this is gonna take a few minutes to get all caught up but I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the next video and I uh, hope you at least get the idea see how it's right there uh, it's going to pull up all the uh, soundtracks that I had on there in just a minute and I'll be right back. Before I show the next video, I just want to show you how, it, how the music player works real quick. So I can click on another song. And keep in mind, this is streaming off real internet connection, so 
you can 20,000 songs you can play here on the go. You also get a uh, free song, I understood. Free and purchase right here. So you can go to the Google uh, Music app on the phone, which I'm going to do in a minute. Uh, but there's actually free songs you can get on the, the main music store. You also give it thumbs up, thumbs down, so stuff that you like all the time, you can actually give it a better rating so it plays it more often. And there's the three songs that I put on my iTunes under that uh, under that playlist name I gave it. Here's a quick, uh, shows you the artist there and there, and it'll group everybody up by the artist automatically. Albums, genres, uh, it's pretty cool, especially when you get your whole library in there also search up here for your library so I can go in and go like and I found that song so just manage your whole playlist on here and at the time I filmed this there was actually they're given 10 million tracks for 49 cents which is half of I think what iTunes are and uh, you can get whole albums for 4.99 so what a great deal so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the, the app on the phone and I'll see you shortly thank you Okay, I'm on the Android Market, and uh, what you want to do is uh, hit the little search bar in the corner there, and I'm going to type in music, and hit search. I'm see more results, and I'm looking for the one that's labeled Google's Music. Is at the one at the very top right now so it'll come down just a second there and then I already pre-installed it but you want to just press on it normally and then uh, where you see open you'll see install right there normally so what I'm gonna do is uh, pause this for a second and I'm gonna open up the app and, and uh, show you how that works okay now uh, the app is installed I'll put it on my desktop here and it may have some music left for my uh, other files, but I did take my memory card out to do this demo. I'm just going to tap on the music app right there. And I open up. And this is actually on the phone right now. And I can make it un available offline, and it will actually download it to my memory card, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to check that. Well, it's too late now. I can fix it later. Let me uncheck that. So now in the three songs that I uploaded are now in the music uh, file of the phone. Now it should load up right now, right off the cloud. I'm playing it right off the cloud. I can switch it up. Go back on that. If you turn the phone sideways, you get this little guy right here. And let me turn it back so it looks right. Turn on the volume a little bit. Inside this app, you can hit on the menu button at the very bottom of the phone. And you have shuffle all. Make available offline and online. Offline music only. So when you hit the offline music only, it actually goes right back to your memory card. So Let's say you're on an airplane or something like that where you don't have Wi-Fi or internet connection. You just go offline and it goes right back to your SD card. And then you get settings. Uh, you have a couple little options in there. You can change your uh, Gmail account. Uh, I have four Gmail accounts, but the cool thing is you can do 20,000 songs per Gmail account. You can ha hide your unavailable music, meaning that when you're offline, it, it'll hide all your stuff from your cloud. You can cache it. You can actually have it to sync only when on Wi-Fi. There's a lot of cool little goodies in here you can do. And then the last thing is, uh, let's say if I click on the artist, you should get a little picture of the artist. See it download that. And if you hit on it again, you get even more options there. Let's name it a song, and you should get a little pop up on the screen. You can make a playlist right there on the phone, and when you make a playlist on the phone, it resynchronizes the whole thing. So it goes back and forth off one little app. Uh, let's see here. You can also shop for artists, so watch when I press that. Let's see if you can find anything similar to what I was planning. 
there's similar music right there online I can buy it right there from the from the phone if I uh, ch so choose to so let me exit out of this slide a little bar down here get that off and then I'm gonna pause it so that's how you use Google's music uh, if you notice there's a little little uh, Android little basket at the top next to the search bar uh, if you press that it'll actually go into the Google's music store and see they have all kind of specials going on right now uh, you can go to the side here and these are some of the current uh, promotions they have going on right now top songs so if you don't know what's good uh, there'll, there'll be the top songs available and uh, I think it's uh, kind of give you an idea uh, what it can do so thanks a lot and uh, hope you like my videos and uh, give me a uh, subscribe to me and I'm gonna keep making videos a couple of week and uh, and maybe more and uh, we see how it goes thank you